All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is What's Hidden Under Antarctica? Let's check it out. Huh. Um, I'm going to go ahead and guess something related to unknown marine life, most likely um, subglacial caves, even that have like their own ecosystem that are that was just birthed for the most part to be suited in harsh environments. I'm um, like, guys, imagine what are in these caves. Um, the spelunking is probably crazy in Antarctica if it's a plausible thing to actually do. Right? I'm not saying I would do it, not saying you guys should do it, but I'm sure there's some super interesting things um, in these places. But let's check it out. The permafrost kingdom is as intriguing as space for researchers. It's melting rapidly, exposing its centuries-old secrets and dragging us even further into its depths. Anything could be hiding under the sparkling snow-covered cap of a glacier. Scientists ask, what secrets are hidden from us under the thick layer of ice? What if traces of ancient civilizations or unusual creatures are buried under the ice cap? Or maybe mm. it's where deadly viruses or bacteria are hiding. Yeah, guys, I can definitely tell you right now, the fossils that are going to be found here are going to be immaculate. I'm telling you, that's it. Greenland, like the uh, like the the woolly mammoths that are are found in Russia. Open the veil of secrecy at the end of 2019. A group of Japanese and Norwegian researchers reported that the second largest ice sheet is hiding an underground river with a length of about 1.6 thousand kilometers. That's a thousand miles. The river was discovered using special radars that mapped the location of the under ice rocks. Sections of the flat bottom were located at a depth of 300 to 500 meters. That's 984 to 1,640 feet below sea level. And in some places dropped even below three kilometers. That's 1.9 miles. And you're calling this a river? For some reason, a river this deep? That's crazy. Based on these data, scientists have built a computer model of the under ice topography. If okay. it's a river, then the source is located right in the center of the island, and its waters flow into the sea on the northern coast under the Peterman Fjord. Scientists nicknamed the mysterious body of water the Dark River, since most of it is completely hidden from sunlight. If it really exists, I wonder if the existence of life there is possible. Most Scientists likely. will be able to answer this question Most in the likely, coming though. years. In the meantime... Guys, I do like the fact that they are using some type of ground-penetrating radar. Um, I speculate that it's probably in the, the realm of like LIDAR, mainly. But um, I like the fact that they're doing at least something. We're getting some type of imagery from this unknown place. Guys. Lake Vostok in Antarctica remains the most studied sub-ice body of water. Okay. The size of the lake is quite impressive. Lake Vostok covers an area of 15,700 square kilometers. That's 6,061 square miles. Oh, wow. And its depth reaches 1,200 meters, or almost 4,000 feet. Okay. Ghost lakes don't freeze to <laughs> the on. bottom due to energy from the rocky bottom and the pressure of ice layers. The air temperature above the surface of the lake can reach minus 89 degrees Celsius. That's minus 128 Fahrenheit while the average water temperature doesn't go above minus 3 Celsius or 27 degrees Fahrenheit. It should be even warmer at greater depth, up to 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Due right. to poss Noted, bro. Don't worry. We're not swimming in that. hydrothermals. But question, guys. I mean, how would the water still remain in a liquid state at that temperature? You're calling it a lake, but I'm guessing it's just a frozen lake. It's a body of ice, most probably. I'm going to say most probably. Um, but all right. Spring activity. Sunlight does not reach to this depth. The pressure is up to 400 bar, and the organic carbon content is very low. However, there is an abundance of oxygen, 50 times more than in a typical body of water. Is life Why? possible there? To answer this question, scientists had to drill through almost four kilometers or two and a half miles of ice just to get to the lake itself. It was highly intensive work. A drill broke twice and the research had to be suspended for seven years to find a more advanced and safe drilling technology. 
And guys, this may not be a really good idea. Like think about how long that ice has been frozen. Imagine all of the, the in-air particulate that also got frozen in said ice, right? What if there was some type of plague, whatever year it was, guys, right? Would we not now be bringing this ancient million-year-old plague to modern humanity? Guys, that always frustrated me. Like, whenever someone says, yeah, we're going to go ahead and, and dig in an ice shield, take a, a sample of ice, bro, listen, maybe we shouldn't at some time, until we can have, like, enough safety, I'd say, right? Um, I don't know if we should be digging this deep that long ago, guys. I'm not sure. The work, begun in 1989, was completed only after 24 years. All for one reason. Life in the lake was finally found. Okay. We're talking about the bacteria Hydrogenophilus thermoluteolis DNA, which was discovered in ice samples in 2004. Surprisingly, this organism usually lives in hot springs. Its hmm. optimum temperature is between 50 to 52 degrees Celsius. That's 122 to 125 Fahrenheit. So how did it end up right. in an ice lake? Most likely. It was probably once really hot there, and they've been in there for a really, really, really long time. Like, like hundreds of thousands to millions of years, most likely. They've just been proliferating underneath the ice. Guys. It came from the deep faults near the lake, where it's warm with low oxygen and high oh, carbon dioxide levels. Okay, Seismic activity was also recorded in the vicinity of Lake Vostok, which could have lifted these bacteria from faults into the upper layers of the water. I guess that explains why there's actually still liquid water that deep. If there are some type of like heat vents that are coming from the center of the earth, warming up that very specific area, but not enough to actually start melting the ice itself. The scientific world right, was later right. shocked by a big discovery. In samples from Lake Vostok, American researchers found traces of the genetic material of bacteria often associated with marine mollusks, crustaceans, and even fish. So can an invisible lake really be hiding such a rich ecosystem? The unusual finds may only be traces of the lake's remembrance of ancient times, when it was filled with various forms of life. Right. Or maybe these are just traces of contamination from the drilling process. Scientists have yet to answer this question. Right. The latest set of samples was obtained from the lake in January 2015. After cleaning the samples, Russian scientists reported finding 49 DNA samples of different groups of bacteria but only two of them caught the researchers' interest. One type of DNA turned out to be similar to the bacterium Janthinobacterium sp. The other belonged to an unknown species and had less than 86% in common with the known living creatures of our planet. In 2018, a third possible inhabitant of Lake Vostok was found in old samples, okay. representatives of the genus Lactobacillus. So far, there are more questions about this bacterium than answers. This microorganism feeds on organic matter, which is almost non-existent in the ice lake. Could the bacteria How have risen to the surface living? from the depths? The debates about the relic lake discoveries continue. But one thing is clear, the water in the lake is not sterile and could be hiding many more of nature's mysteries. There will be a real breakthrough when a drill hits the bottom of the lake, where the water is warmer and richer in mineral nutrients. True, you'll have to wait until the invention of clean drilling technology, which will allow absolutely <laughs> right. clean water samples without impurities. So, if there's still life in the ghost lake, then there's definitely a chance of finding its extraterrestrial form of life on the distant icy oceans of Enceladus. A hundred percent, bro. One one thousand percent. There's life on other planets, guys. Uh, it may not be life that we would like to encounter, right? But without a doubt, there's going to be something there. There has to be. Guys. The satellite of Saturn or Europa, the satellite of Jupiter. Should we open this ice Pandora's box? No. Indeed, some pretty harmful <laughs> creatures no. may be hiding under the ice. History knows cases when hazardous bacteria and viruses woke up as ice melted. 
For example, nice. in 2016, a 12-year-old boy died from anthrax in a remote part of the Russian tundra on the Yamal Peninsula. The diagnosis was confirmed in another 24 people. Animals were also affected. More than 2,000 deer died from a disease that hadn't been heard of in the region since 1941. Most likely, the spread of this dangerous disease started from the carcass of an animal, which right. was buried in frozen soil for many years. Hot air warmed the earth, and the bacteria that had been sleeping for over 75 years came to life. Guys, there was an X-Files episode of... I guess they went out to the forest or, or like a logging company and they were they cut like one very specific tree and then in the tree it had like a like a green line from when something happened one of these years and then all of a sudden they re-released all this terribleness uh, same thing happened uh, on a couple episodes actually uh, no one episode of Stargate also similar in an, in Antarctica guys okay, so yeah listen stay away from digging up the past that type of past at least guys right personally the outbreak was quickly suppressed but scientists got seriously worried every year the earth heats up more and more exposing layers of permafrost in 2005 a group of american researchers managed to reconstruct the spanish flu virus they Why? killed between Why? 50 to 100 million people in 1918 the viral genes were found in the tissues of a deceased woman who once lived in the Alaskan tundra. Tests performed on animals showed that the reconstituted virus spread in the body at lightning speed, inevitably leading to death. It was even possible to revive a previously unknown bacteria from Enough. permafrost where it slept <laughs> in a frozen pond in Alaska for about 32,000 years. You should have left it asleep. The microbe Carnobacterium pleistocenium witnessed woolly mammoths roaming the earth during the Pleistocene. Waking up after a long sleep, the bacterium began to move as if nothing had happened. Two years later, in 2007, scientists revived an 8 million year old bacteria. It was found deep under a glacier in the Beacon Valley and oh. the Mullins Valley in Antarctica. Really? Thanks to this discovery, scientists were able to establish a half-life of a genome in ice, which amounted to 1.1 million years. The latest find by a group of international virologists was made public in early 2020. Scientists investigated ice samples from 15,000 to 520,000 years ago. And guys, wait. Ice. And like, do you see this right here? This is kind of what I'm talking about. Right? Be careful when you're digging and you pull up things that look like this. Okay? You should have put that back in there. I'm just going to go ahead and say that's it. Samples from 15,000 to 520,000 years ago, taken from the Tibetan Plateau in China. In the samples, they found DNA residues from 33 groups of viruses, 28 of which were previously unknown. Moreover, bacteria from two different layers of ice were very different from each other. Scientists right. have suggested that they were formed in completely different climatic periods. They have no doubt that this isn't an error. Virologists studied only clean ice, thoroughly cleansed of all contamination. It's too early to panic. The find is only of scientific interest. The DNA of viruses is not the virus itself, so it doesn't pose a threat to humans. If more than a dozen viruses were found in a small area of ice, then how many surprises could all the ice sheets of the Earth be concealing in an area of more than 50,000 square kilometers right. or almost 20,000 square miles? Subglacial rivers and lakes, mysterious and unknown ecosystems, pathogenic viruses and bacteria. Maybe we shouldn't try to reveal all the centuries-old secrets that nature so carefully hides under the ice. Okay. Gradually, with climate change, the pu Oh no, you said the unfortunate words. Bro, we made it so far. Now this video is going to get flagged. Don't be surprised if you see that very specific thing underneath this video now, guys. Just let you know. Puzzles will clear up themselves, appearing on the surface of meltwater. What do you think? Write to us in the comments. All right, personally, I think 
we should not try to bring back things that are long gone and specifically from eras and, and you know, points in time where we had no idea how to control it, if that makes any sense, right? So, so now you're letting this brand new crazy virus, right? Uh, come back to our modern times with us not knowing about it, never hearing about it, never seeing it, never testing it, never doing anything to kind of rectify it. And then now we have another mass uh, event, basically an, an ELE, an extinction level event. Right? Let's not do that, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and say, maybe the dinosaurs were taken out. This is, this is too conspiratorial. But whatever. Maybe the dinosaurs were taken out during a time where the earth was warming and the ice was melting and it released something crazy. And then the dinosaurs came at, you know, not, not, not dinosaurs. Then the asteroid came, right? <laughs> Hit Earth and then released all this craziness into the atmosphere. And then all across the globe, everyone was ended by this. Every, every being was ended by this crazy plague that occurred from melting ice, right? And maybe it's going to happen again as this ice melts. All right. Let me know what you think. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm throwing, you know, I'm throwing paper at the wall for the most part, guys. Either way, uh, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly.